Now this is my kind of ice cream cone. Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to show you this video. It is so, so cute. The template is totally free and no sewing is required. Just your felt and your hot glue. Check this out. It's an ice cream activity page with a little ice cream truck. You have to make this for your little ones. I know I probably say that for a bunch of the activities, but this one especially because, come on, it's ice cream. So check out this video for how I put this together. Make sure your video quality settings are set to the highest, preferably HD, so that you can see all the details of my video. Okay, Mwah. thank you so much, you guys. Make, make sure you have subscribed if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Okay, you guys can head on over to my website, which I will link in the description below, and you can print off the free um, ice cream template. Even though I created this template, I'm not 100% sure yet what I'm going to do for this activity, but let me go through and tell you what I'm thinking. I think on one page, uh, on one of my felt sheets, I'm going to have this ice cream cone Velcroed to the page, and I'm going to cut out two copies and hot glue them together just to make sure that it's a knife a nice stiff and structured cone. And then I'm gonna cut out a whole bunch of these ice cream scoops in all sorts of different colors and flavors. And I'm gonna cut out two copies for each flavor and I'm gonna glue them along the top. And I'm gonna leave their bottoms open so that they can stack on top of each other. And then on the other felt sheet, I think I'm going to create this ice cream cart. So it'll be this piece um, glued right down to the felt page and then this blue piece will just be glued over top of here um, and then these two pieces are wheels that will be put onto the cart here these are little ice cream symbols I'm going to cut that out and glue them on the cart as well just to show that it's for ice cream and then these are going to be different balloons I think I will include in this template and then this circle here, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this or not, but I was thinking I've done an activity before where I put little decorations or toppings on the ice cream scoop and then I color match these circles with the number on them. So for example, I might have the numbers one to five and I'll have five different ice cream scoops and on one ice cream, I'll put one topping and then <clears throat> this will just have the number one on it. And then on another ice cream, I'll put two toppings and then I'll have a matching circle with the number two on it so that little kids can pra practice uh, their counting and, and matching the correct number and recognizing the number that goes with the ice cream. Anyways, I'll, I'll give it a try and think about it and I'll show you guys how it turns out. Um, and then this piece here is just a copy of the top part of the ice cream truck, but I'm gonna be cutting where these lines are and I'm just gonna alternate between pink and blue and pink and blue. So I'll just layer the blue over top of this pink um, truck. Okay, wish me luck and let's see how this goes. I've got all of my pieces cut out and I have started doing some gluing. So I just wanted to show you guys what I have. I have the base for the ice cream truck and I have this blue rectangle that's gonna be glued over top of the truck and I already glued down that uh, strawberry and chocolate ice cream with the ice cream cones. I've also cut this piece out and I'm going to be uh, cutting those to fit alternating between blue and pink at the top of the ice cream truck. I've cut out two wheels and I've already put my little brad pins through. So I'll put in the link where I ordered the brad pins from, but they're those little pins that go through and they can open up so that an object can rotate around them. So that's what I use. I just use my scissors to dig a hole in the center. Hopefully you can see that in the video and then I can put those through and I will put them right through my page so that the child can rotate the wheels. I've also cut out eight different flavors of ice cream. So I have eight different colors here. And for each flavor, I have two copies glued together. So this reddish one that I'm holding is actually two copies and I've already glued it together. As you can see, I've left the bottom open and I've just glued around the edge. Um, and the reason that I did that is because I want the child to be able to stack the ice cream flavors over top of each other. So they can be stacked just like that and it makes for the ice cream scoops to be nice and structured and stiff. And then I cut out two copies as well of the ice cream cone and if you can see I just drew some diagonal lines across the cone in a brown fabric marker to give it that waffle look. And so the idea is that the ice cream scoops can be placed on the cone and the, the cone can detach from the page and the child can hold the ice cream. I also cut out a few colors of balloons and I'm going to be sewing or attaching them to my page just at the bottom so that they can kind of lift off and they have that 3D effect. And the last thing I did was I used that white circle in the template to cut out all of these um, numbered circles you can see. 
I have a pair of scallop scissors that allows me to kind of cut this nice flower edge along, but if you don't have those, just cut out a regular circle using the white template. And then I hot glued some felt pre-cut letter uh, numbers that I had. I bought these from my local dollar store some time ago. I couldn't find any more. If you don't have these, you can just use a black Sharpie to neatly write on the numbers one through eight. So I, and I cut out two copies for each color and glued them together just to make them nice and stiff and structured. One copy of the felt that I'm using is not quite enough. I wanted to use two. You can also see that I glued on little Velcro dots on the back. They are self-adhesive Velcro dots, but I always use hot glue to apply them because without the hot glue, it just won't stay sticky. I have fabric paint that I'm going to use to um, paint on some decorations, but if you don't have fabric paint, you can just use some markers. Now for this activity, I'm going to use two sheets of felt that measure 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters or eight inches by eight inches. And you can see that I've actually wrapped my felt um, in a sheet of fabric. I'm actually going to be selling these at a craft show. So I wanted to add a fabric background because I really liked this little polka dot um, fabric. If I did not have fabric and if I was not sewing, so if you're just gonna hot glue, I would probably just go with a light purple or a light yellow or a light blue um, felt background. And then that will allow you to just glue the pieces right onto the page because hot glue works really well with felt. So for me, I'm going to be wrapping my felt in fabric and that will be my background. Um, but if you don't have this fabric, that is okay. You can still make a super cute um, ice cream activity page. I'm basically going to have one of my pages for my ice cream truck and my balloons. And then the other page, what I'm going to do is sew two Velcro strips along the side. And here is my Velcro strips here. I'm gonna sew those right down on the side and that is where my numbers are going to be able to stay attached to the page because again, I've put those Velcro dots on the back. And then I'm going to attach my cone with Velcro as well to the center. And then my ice cream scoops are going to stay completely detached. No Velcro is on them. I'm just going to store them in the pocket of the truck and also in the pocket of the page itself. I'll show you what that looks like once I've got it done. Now, if you are not sewing and you're just hot gluing, what you will need is you will need to get some self-adhesive Velcro strips. I have this roll of Velcro, but it is not self-adhesive. If you're gluing, you wanna use the self-adhesive one because it has that sticky backing on it already, and that, along with the hot glue, allows it to stick really well to the felt. If I were to just apply hot glue on this um, Velcro strip, which is not self-adhesive, the hot glue may not stay because this surface is really um, smooth and I don't think that the hot glue would hold it very well. That's fine for me because I'm just going to be sewing these directly onto my page, but I just wanted to mention that because I use both. Sometimes I hot glue my self-adhesive ones on and they work very well. It's very strong. It's just as strong as sewing it on, if not even stronger. Uh, but just because I'm using fabric, I can't um, glue it on, so I'm going to I'm going to sew these on because hot glue does not stick very well to most fabrics. Okay, so sorry, back to the truck. I'm gonna sew this piece right down. I'm gonna sew all around the edge of it, and then I'm gonna cut these off, and I'm just gonna glue them on top. I'm gonna glue this blue rectangle piece right down um, over top of that pink base. And then I think I mentioned this already, but I'm just gonna sew the bottom parts of the balloons onto the page so that they can kind of lift off. If you're hot gluing, then what I would do is I would just hot glue the bottom parts on. You don't need a ton of hot glue. It works super well. So you can just glue the bottom parts on and kind of layer the balloons over each other and it will make for a really cute um, effect. And then I've already got my little white triangles hot glued on my wheel and the little circle hot glued on. So once this is all attached, I'm just gonna dig some holes with my scissors um, through the page itself. And then I will be able to push that brad pin through the page and fold it open on the other side. And just for reference, this is what I'm using for my Velcro dots. They're just very small. I'll put a link to them in the description. And those are what I am using for the backs of the numbers as well as on the back of the um, ice cream cone. I'm gonna add one on there and I'm just using hot glue. Okay, let me go get these put together and I will show you guys what the final product looks like.
And here is the final activity all put together. You guys, it turned out so, so cute. I love, love, love this one. Of course, I am obsessed with ice cream, so it is definitely my favorite page of all time. Let me show you what I ended up doing. So first of all, you can see that I have this pocket at the top of both of my pages. I do that really often where I leave the top part open. So I sewed, but you don't have to sew. You can use hot glue where you just glue the bottom part to the back of another piece of felt and you leave the top part open. You glue the sides and the bottom. I show how to actually do the binding and form this into a little book in the video, How to Assemble a Busy Book, which I will link in the description below. So you can check out that video to see how to actually put it together like a little book and to even add more pages if you want to. Um, but you can see that, yeah, this is where I am storing some of the ice cream flavors. So I have eight flavors all together. And so what I did was I made it so that each colored number corresponds to the number of decorations on the ice cream. So this one has one, so that goes with one. So you can your children can practice um, kind of matching the number with the correct um, ice cream flavor. Uh, and then number two, so that's, I guess, uh, raspberry cream flavor. This can be chocolate banana. Um, what else have we got? Tiger tail. If you guys have not had tiger tail, you need to get yourself some tiger tail. It is this wonderful orange ice cream with this black cream in it and it's like licorice flavored. It's so good. So the tiger tail goes with number three because it's got three um, markings on it, three decorations. Number four is chocolate chip uh, or mint ice cream. Uh, number five is bubblegum. This is, I think, what I was going for, bubblegum flavored. Six is the classic chocolate chip. <clears throat> Seven is vanilla with sprinkles. And number eight, <clears throat> sorry guys, I'm losing my voice. Number eight, I initially was going for a cotton candy theme, but somehow it just turned into eight different markings that kind of look like hieroglyphics or something. <laughs> but uh, I'm happy with it. I think it looks cute. Um, so children can practice um, doing that. They can also pretend that these are like little coins or dollars. So if you want to pretend like you're ordering ice cream from them or a certain number of scoops, you know, they can accept one and then you can order your flavors and they can take their ice cream cone and layer as many um, scoops on it as can fit. I don't know if all eight will be able to stand up, but uh, it's nice and stiff and structured because of the hot glue that I use. So definitely make sure that you use some hot glue and some decent felt that will that maintains its its shape and its structure. And then for the cart here, you can see that these little wheels turn. Um, and so that's kind of nice just to have other things that move on the page. And then the balloons all kind of lift because like I said before, I just did the bottom part attached to the page. So yeah, I'll have some some um, ice cream scoops stored in there. Other ones can be stored um, on the cone itself. And then children can practice recognizing and ordering the numbers and using them to either match up with the correct ice cream scoop or to use them sort of as a form of a uh, token of money um, to practice number recognition and counting. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy this activity. I hope your kids love playing with it. Please make sure you have subscribed to my channel if you are enjoying these templates. And you guys, you have to make this one. How can you not make this one? It is just too cute to not make. Okay, thank you so much, you guys. I will see you in my next video.